Hey everyone, can you answer this physics GCSE question? Write down the equation which links energy transferred, power and time. Right, hopefully you remember that energy transferred is equal to power times by the time. Yes, energy is equal to power times by the time, or if you want to, power is equal to energy over time, they're the same formula here. Next, 3.4. The electrical generators can provide 1.5 times by 10 to the power of 9 watts of power for a maximum of 5 hours. Calculate the maximum energy that can be transferred by the electrical generators. Right, you're trying to work out the energy, so energy is equal to the power multiplied by the time. So you've got the power over here, 1.5 times by 10 to the power of 9. Don't forget, power is measured in watts, that's how I knew it was the power. But the time, the time here, you've got 5 hours. But don't forget, this equation doesn't work with hours, you've got to convert it into seconds. So therefore, in 5 hours, guys, if I have 5 hours, that's going to be equal to 5 times by 60 minutes. Yes, the total number of minutes times by 60 again. Yes, that's the total amount of seconds. So therefore, we've got 18000 seconds over here. Now, plugging this into our formula at the top, 18000 seconds. Therefore, our energy is going to be 1.5 times by 10 to the power of 9 times by 18000. I'm getting the energy of 2.7 times by 10 to the power of 13, everyone. And if you're looking for more content, guys, you can check out my GCSE YouTube channel, which I've recorded hundreds and hundreds of videos to help you with your studies. Good luck.